Welcome back to the Scottabike channel and this is Scott. Many of us use IP cameras either for streaming in the home lab or for security. And today I want to talk a little bit about how to display an IP camera easily. So real-time streaming protocol or RTSP is a network protocol designed for controlling streaming media servers. And yes, those cameras you own are actually little media servers. And most IP cameras support this RTSP protocol. However, there's a lot of cloud cameras that are sold out there, such as Nest Cams, Ring Cams, Arlo's, Eufy's, and Wise Cameras. Although Wise Cameras, some of them do have the ability to do RTSP streaming. But most of the cameras I mentioned here are proprietary cameras and they do not support RTSP. And in fact, many of them only work in the cloud and they require a proprietary application to access their media stream. And RTSP is used to play, pause, stop, and rewind or fast forward media, which means the video source. And the underlying media content is usually streamed over real-time transport protocol or real-time transport protocol, otherwise known as RTP. And RTSP streams generally follow a standardized format that looks a lot like a URL, and it is RTSP colon slash slash some username if you have authentication set on your camera colon some password and then an at sign followed by the IP address of the camera and then forward slash and some type of stream path and that stream path differs depending upon the manufacturer of the camera that you are using. And so today we want to talk a little bit about FFmpeg and cameras. So FFmpeg is an open source command line multimedia framework that is used for recording, converting, and streaming both audio and video. And FFmpeg includes, first of all, FFmpeg itself, which is a CLI tool to encode, decode, and process media. And usually when you say FFM code, that's what most people are thinking of. Secondarily, they also include a utility called FF Play, which is a very simple media player. And then they also include a tool called FF Probe, which is designed to inspect and analyze your media files or media streams. And we're going to create a simple desktop icon using FF Play to display a live camera feed from an IP camera. Here I am on my Ubuntu 2404 desktop and I'll do a sudo apt update to make sure that all of my repositories are up to date and current. And as you can see here, I have 15 packages that can be upgraded and I could do so with the sudo apt upgrade, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to do a sudo apt install on FFmpeg. You can see which version of FFmpeg you have installed by doing an FFmpeg dash version, and it will list out all of the versions of the various components. I'm going to use the FF probe command to evaluate the RTSP stream coming from one of my cameras, and I'll do that with FF probe dash RTSP underbar transport TCP dash I, and here's my RTSP stream for this particular real link camera. So I'm saying RTSP colon slash slash Scott is the username and the password is Scott123 and then the address of the camera is 192.168.30.60 
and the default port for RTSP is normally 554. And then the stream pathway is going to be slash H265 preview under bar 01 under bar main. And this is a 4K camera using the H.265 encoder. And so here we list it out. It provides basically the same information about FFmpeg, but then at the bottom, it says that the video is encoded and it tells you what it's encoded with. And it says that it is a 3840 by 2160 stream and it gives you the frame rate information. And then it says that the audio codec is AAC. In order to display this camera, I can use the command FF play. And in this case, I'm saying the window title is going to be mailbox because it's a camera that points at the group mailbox on the other side of my neighbor's house. And then I provide the same RTSP streaming information. And when I hit enter, it will go ahead and launch that viewer. And here we are. The title says mailbox at the top and it's looking at this camera real time. And that's basically how it looks. Let's go ahead and create a desktop icon in order to display this camera. And we can do so by editing a file on my desktop. And I'm just going to call that file mailbox camera dot desktop. I hit enter and it goes into the nano editor. Now I want to paste the information into my desktop shortcut. And here we have desktop entry and then version equals 1.0, which is kind of a placeholder as is type equals application. I'm giving the name to be mailbox camera. And then you can optionally have a comment. And my comment is launch FF play with RTSP stream. Here in the exec directive, I have the exact FF play command that I use from the command line. Icon equals video dash display is a standard icon found in Ubuntu. Terminal equals false means it will not bring up a terminal. Categories are equal to multimedia and video. We'll do a control O and enter to write the file out and a control X to exit the nano editor. The next thing that's important to do is to turn on execute privilege for this particular file. And we'll do that with a chmod plus X on that file. And that will add execute privilege to the file. I noticed in Ubuntu 2404 that we get this red X down here. And if you right click on it and say allow launching, then that red X will go away. At this point, we really don't need the terminal anymore because we don't have to run this from a command line now that we have the icon. If I double click my icon here, it will launch the camera and display the video stream. And then when I exit the video stream, it just goes right back to the desktop, obviously, and life is good. I can launch the video stream again. And of course, I can resize the window to any size that I want. And um, it will go ahead and support active resizing of the window to be whatever you desire. FFmpeg also runs under Windows 11, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the search bar here and type in PowerShell. And when I find the PowerShell option up here, I'll right click on it and say run as administrator and go ahead and say yes. When the PowerShell window opens, I'll go ahead and do a winget install Gaian dot FFmpeg and that will install FFmpeg after I enter a Y for yes. Since I no longer need my administrative PowerShell, I went ahead and shut it down and I'll go ahead and type CMD and bring up a 
regular command prompt, except this time without privilege. And I can do an ffmpeg version, and it will report what version it is, just like we had in Linux. This screen that I'm using here for my Windows is 1920 by 1080. And so unfortunately, there isn't the concept of scale adaptive in Windows. And therefore, my 3840 by 2160 4K camera won't display here properly without some additional parameters in Windows. And so the parameters I'm going to use are ffplay, the same window title, but dash VF, and I say scale equals 1920 by 1080, and enforce a original aspect ratio equals decrease, and then I provide the same RTSP stream. And when we do that, it will go ahead and display, and there we go. So we might want to have instead a windowed display as opposed to a full screen display. And we were able to accomplish that in Ubuntu without too many additional issues. But here, what we're going to do instead is we'll do the same command, except we'll say to display it at 1024 by 768. And so it won't come up full screen. It will come up small instead. Now that we have a window that we can resize, we're able to take this and resize it, and it will resize correctly. And you can hear some jets outside because the astronauts are practicing at night. I ended up testing some VBS scripts and also some PowerShell scripts in an attempt to hide the terminal that you get when you launch the shortcut icon. And I was fairly successful in getting the um, terminal screen to display all of the time. So I guess one of the good things about that is that you can uh, have that terminal screen available to you, uh, even if you don't want it, because unfortunately, um, at least all of the attempts I had, I was unable to suppress it. So that is uh, one limitation of running from Windows. So in summary, in January of 2023, I presented self-hosted camera magic where I showed how to use the VLC program to take an RTSP camera stream and display it on a Chromecast 4K device. And VLC is a great tool for this purpose, but it's not very lightweight as compared with FFmpeg. And FFmpeg is very lightweight, and it's also very efficient, and it's generally regarded only as a conversion utility. The FF Play tool provided in the FFmpeg package is an efficient way to display IP cameras on your desktop. And we created a desktop icon to use FF Play to display an IP camera using the RTSP protocol. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel and don't forget to hit your notification bell and we'll see you next time.